our goal is to let any developer become a space developer. The M6 will be actually the third satellite flying in space for off. That would be the exact same satellite bus, but with very different payloads. Typically, we build our satellites with one particular customer in mind as an anchor customer. The M6 is all about virtual missions and demonstrating this concept of space infrastructure. A virtual mission is a mission that is software only and can be deployed to existing infrastructure that's already in space. Our virtual payload framework makes it easy for developers to develop their own payloads that are software only to be loaded as part of their virtual missions. Performing your data analysis at the edge and getting insights from the data right after collecting it gives you the opportunity to do things like rapid retasking after you see something in satellite imagery or getting your insights down faster. We need to be able to go faster and do more and optimize for creativity. And virtual missions allow us to do that. The unique thing about EM6 is that there's dedicated compute capabilities that are on board. So they're more powerful than your standard onboard computer and more powerful than a normal flight computer running flight software. We have three compute nodes dedicated for onboard computing, and two of them have dedicated GPUs for heavier workloads, heavier processing for things like AI machine learning. In order to fly virtual missions, we're developing a virtual payload framework that makes it easy for developers to get started. Our virtual mission framework provides a set of standard APIs to interact with our onboard sensors. So a customer application can request data from a hyperspectral camera or an RGB camera or any of our RF sensors on board. Virtual missions can enable a sensor fusion where you can combine two different sources of sensor data on orbit. We make this process really simple by focusing on three steps, define, develop, and deploy. When the customer is ready to deploy their application on orbit, they can submit it to Loft, and then once it's on board the satellite, they can make an execution request via our cockpit mission control system. EM6 is even more unique because it is a first for Loft. It is the first of what we hope to be many spacecraft of building an entire infrastructure. We're working with Microsoft on a solution that lets any developer develop on Azure a virtual payload and define, integrate, and deploy that virtual payload on M6. Microsoft is bringing their expertise in enabling developers, and Loft is bringing our expertise in space. And together, we're turning our satellites into the next evolution of a cloud ecosystem. We're trying to make space simple and more accessible to more people. The M6 is our pathfinder for what will be a large addressable constellation that anyone will be able to deploy their workloads and applications for. With the M6, we really invite all developers to join the space community.